I am about to enter the bridge of a Star Destroyer set. And it's pretty amazing. I'm wearing these ridiculous blue shoes, but you have to, it's Imperial protocol, because what you don't want to do is scuff up the bridge of an Imperial Star Destroyer. Apology accepted, Captain. I'm being joined here by Doug Chang. Doug, this is a very intimidating set. You cannot help but be aware of how precarious we are right now. In terms of no handrails. Well, exactly, yeah. right? Yeah, no, you know, that's the funny thing, is that's one of the iconic things that George wanted to establish in the Star Wars vocabulary. There's no health and safety. And it's this crazy thing where the minute you take away handrails or anything like that, it really kind of puts it into the Star Wars world. Every time I come on here, I get goosebumps because everything is so graphic, everything is so memorable. And you know, it's been what, 30, 40 years and it still works today in the modern audience. People may not know the behind the scenes of say the Empire Strikes Back, there wasn't this much built. They only built really one side of it, right? Yeah, exactly, and not even the ceiling. Yeah. That was a Ralph McQuarrie matte painting. Gareth as a filmmaker likes to really play with the camera and kind of discover his shots. Mm -hmm. And we want to give him a rich enough and a big enough playground so that he could actually do that. I'm here with Alex Bailey and we're standing in one one of the iconic recreation sets that has been constructed for this movie. Yeah, this is what we call a legacy set. This is the Death Star control room. Now, it's my understanding that this set got kind of a blessing from the best possible source. It did. We had a visit from George Lucas. He saw it in an unfinished state, but okay. still, it kind of sparked off a few anecdotes for him, really. So this is if you're an evil person looking to control the universe. This is quite a heck of a view here. This is where you'd fire your uh, super laser from. We built a LED display right across the whole screen and then we had our motion graphics guys come up with all the graphics which tell the story points so there was no visual effects involved. So we're in position. Ready? Fire! Commence primary ignition. <laughs> 